The larvae of the plaster bagworm moth, or the household case bearer moth, is an unusual creature. I first noticed it when I saw what I thought was a cocoon on one of the uh, screech owl nest box, but I noticed it was moving around as I watched it. I realized that it's a, it's a larvae or caterpillar that uh, carries its case or uh, cocoon around with it, and then it, when it stops, it attaches itself and rests, and then it moves on. Uh, they primarily like to eat uh, spider silk and uh, things like that when they're outdoors, so the uh, owl nest box is a great place to, for little nooks and crannies of little spiders and webs and things, so I think that's why it's hanging around there. This is the first year that I really noticed an infestation of these creatures on the uh, wall that's uh, shielded from the sun of the house, so the uh, stucco is just covered with them. Here's a couple of pictures of dozens of them on the wall. Uh, I haven't really noticed in years past as many as we have this year. They're really not a significant pest as far as I can see. They don't do too much damage to the outside of the uh, house or the trees other than look pretty unsightly on the house. You know, with the houses being air conditioned and uh, sealed up, they don't really get inside and do damage. I mean, if they were to get inside your house in a high humidity environment, they would of course love to eat things like wool and like, uh, like some moths that attack clothing and that. It's more of a curiosity as a very unusual creature. It reminds me a lot of the uh, trash bug or the uh, larvae of the lacewing fly. It covers itself up with debris and uh, uses that for camouflage. In this case, the plaster bagworm uh, cocoon attracts sand and debris and things like that. So it, when it's not eating and moving, it sits still and it just looks like a piece of debris or something and is not bothered. It's just another one of the unusual creatures you run into in nature.